NASA is providing advice. Uh, the Chileans are very well organized. They have uh, a lot of resources at their disposal. Uh, they have done a lot uh, for the miners. Uh, and in fact, the miners have done a lot for themselves underground to uh, show the will to survive and to organize themselves uh, to be able to survive this long. So our, uh, our plan is to go down and, and provide the uh, advice that the Chileans have requested uh, in the areas of uh, nutritional support and behavioral health support. We're planning on traveling down early next week. Uh, we have a team of four individuals, uh, including myself, uh, and that team consists of two physicians, one psychologist, and one engineer. NASA's had a long experience in dealing with uh, isolated environments, uh, in particular uh, currently on the space station. Uh, we uh, train and plan contingencies for uh, emergencies and uh, we also have experience in other analog environments, undersea environments, and uh, we've had uh, some dealings with our uh, Antarctica analog as well. Environments may well be different, but the human response, uh, both uh, physiology and uh, behavior uh, responses to emergencies is, is quite similar. So we think that uh, some of the things that we've learned either in research or in operations uh, can be applicable uh, to the, uh, the miners that are trapped underground. You know, the, the Chileans are very um, uh, well organized down there in the contacts that we've had. Uh, they have a lot of resources at their uh, uh, disposal. They've not asked us for any specific resources other than the advice uh, that we might have learned uh, either through our research or our operational uh, uh, dealings in, uh, in space flight. And it's an opportunity for us to bring uh, the space flight experience uh, back down to the ground and and uh, utilize for uh, people here on Earth.